so amazing that he just, oh yeah, where are the chords? And looked it up and, oh yeah, I got it, done. And we started playing it. Of course, Brandon just picks it up and boom, we start just tearing into this Robert Johnson song who I'm a huge fan of. And uh, we just lit into it. We lit into it and I was like, this feels great. I haven't sang from this part of my soul in a long, long time. You know, you can go, sorry, I just cut you oh, That's real chill, you know? Or you can go, you know, been a long time, you can rock and roll, oh, yeah. yeah. So it's totally different kind of things, you know? And I was like, this room feels real nice, and I think I should stick around. And so that was one, one. then, you know, we, I think uh, our whole logic, I think, was I was working up my muscles to sing rock and roll again, and we were trying to get to know each other, and I'm like, you know what, let's just pick, like, some of our favorite artists. You know, I'm a big David Bowie fan, uh, so I picked some Bowie. Uh, Joey's a big, you know, Jimi Hendrix and, and Joplin. Brandon's a big Zeppa, and we all are. So we're like, let's just gather some songs, make a list, learn them, play them, get to know each other at the same time. And we kind of milked that for maybe a month or so. For a little while. And then we said, okay, let's, let's yeah. start writing. Yeah, because I think in any yeah. relationship, it takes a little bit of time to kind of, uh, you know, feel people out. Yeah. You know, and get to know each other, and then warm. you, once you feel that, it's like, okay, let's let's get to work and let's let's. Yeah. let's it was only the three of us at first. A lot of wood in that room. You picked that house because it was all wood. <laughs> yeah, and our rent right at the other place was so expensive. And then the cops just kept coming. Yeah, we went to every yeah, time. We moved to Korea. <laughs> the cops, house. Kept the cops came. Cataraugus. They no, came. They came to the house twenty-seven no, times. No, that's not that place. We never had cops in Canada. Twenty-seven <laughs> times. Korean town. I get home from work we and I just like pop, 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 yeah. pop, 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 boom. As soon as the bass is kicked in, <laughs> and bass always calls it cops come. And then, so we did. We did that for a little while, and I think we're kind of we we had we had a few songs, you know, in the bank, and we're like, oh. Let's start playing. Let's start recording. Brandon's, yeah. you know, workaholic, which I so much admire uh, about Brandon because we want to work really, really hard. That's what we're here for. We're, you know, that's what we do. So Brandon's like, let's start recording a record. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, we're all stressing out. And I had a lot of phone calls on, you know, Sunday afternoon. Like, oh, we need a bass player. We need a steady bass player. Brandon's like, well, we'll just bring people in. And I'm like, no, no, I want, I want a, I want a band. I want a band of brothers. We need. You know, the whole shebang, you know? Okay. I'm, I'm kind of stressed out. Oh, I'm getting to it. <laughs> I'm getting to it. Take it easy. All right, so... He's a fucking so up, Joe. Think we brought in some players, and they were, they, were, they were talented cats, and they were good. But I'm like, you know, I come from the idea of, like, a band, you know? I don't, I don't come from the idea of, like, session players, which they're, they're lovely, they're beautiful, they have their place. But I'm like, I, I want to be a band. I don't want to be, like, bringing people and... Do this. So we're looking for quite some time, and, and then uh, we post a Craigslist. <laughs> Is that what it was? No. Was it Craigslist? No, no, I knew GK through through mutual friend. friend. Yeah. But, what, right. but what really happened was. Did we jam at a party? Yeah, we did that, but what happened is you came and helped me move and I bought you Chipotle and then I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's all about Chipotle. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's the title of the next Chipotle record. Chipotle does it all, man. No, but no. That's you, all it takes is a breed. But what happened well, tell, tell, tell us about Chipotle. I eat his lunch. G, me and GK knew each other through through a mutual friend. And GK actually, he's a, he's a guitar player first. That just happens yeah. to play bass. No, I'm kidding. Kind of. But, uh, <laughs> we had fiddled on the bass. Yeah. So he knows with the bass. GK plays on all sorts of different kinds of bands. He probably has the most experience so of all many of us. Bands. <laughs> He's been on a lot of bands from death metal to uh, hardcore stuff to, to, folk, to all sorts of yeah, stuff. Yeah, just all over the board. All over. <laughs> so then. So you play with him somewhere? So play we played him. once, but what. When we needed a bass player, you know, I had asked GK, you know, because we, we were working on those covers, and I said, you know, we're thinking about going on just kind of playing some shows, play some covers, would you be interested? He said, yeah, I'll, I'll come by and what are some of the songs? So this is before the Open Lights. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. he no, said no, me. This is, this no, is when, this is no, when this he came was, with us. Really? This was the, well, actually, yeah, he sent me this. After I was at Lucas. He sent me this list of songs, and I was like, and I started looking through it, and I'm like, oh, there, there were such good songs, and I'm like, but I would love to be playing guitar. 
And I remember sending you an email, and I was like, dude, you know, it sounds really fun, but I'd, I'd really like to be playing guitar. And then, um, I think you guys started, you know, really looking for a bass player again, and posted In a Rush to Meet the Queen. Yep, that's right. And then I heard In a Rush to Meet the Queen.